Hey, this is Russ. It's a continuation of our ride. <laughs> yeah, it's still uh, the same ride that we've been doing for the last couple times. We're gonna break this uh, 2600 mile marker on this ride. I've gotta make a left-hand turn here, but I've got a car behind me, so I gotta let that guy go through. All right, we have not come down this area in a while. <laughs> so I figure I'd take you down this way. You know, having the jacket on, having the hat on, having the gloves on has made a big difference to me, even though temperature is at 55 degrees. It's still cold. If I didn't have all this stuff on, I would have called it quits a long time ago. So yeah, thank you for all the suggestions of wearing some more clothing. <laughs> you know, before I just had the sweatshirt on, no no hat, little beanie cap. Um, but now I have all that stuff on with the extra jacket, the gloves. Yeah, I can do 55 degrees, no problem. And I'm actually kind of surprised my safety vest fits over the clothes, fits over that extra jacket. This jacket is not super heavy, but it is a heavier jacket than, uh, than just having a sweatshirt on it. And on top of it, the chest mount for my GoPro fits over the jacket too. So <laughs> yeah, I didn't think all this stuff would fit out and work out like that, but it does. So yeah, brakes are working well. The hydraulic brakes. These are the one made by Juintech, J-U-I-N-T-E-C-H. It's got uh, Bolton E-Bikes uh, logo on it though, because uh, I guess he bought enough of them that they put his branding on it. So it says uh, Bolton E-Bikes. Yeah, so should you be buying an E-Bike? Now that it's winter time, um, yeah, I think you should. <laughs> and the reason is because you're not gonna get it right away. Okay, some bike companies do have stock. So you're gonna sit on it and look at it for the whole, whole winter and won't be able to ride it. But other brands, you know, they're still got problems with getting those bikes out because of the uh, supply chain issues that is happening. And uh, so buying your bike now, isn't that bad of an idea. It'll get it ready for springtime. I mean, you're really talking, uh, what are we, in December? You got all of December, January, February, March. You got about four months of sitting on doing nothing. Um, April is probably when most people would probably be heading back out. I think I will be heading back out if the weather is at least 55 degrees. <laughs> bundle myself up just like I'm doing right now and then head out so yeah getting your bike now might be a good idea just so that you're not waiting if you wait until spring to order one you're gonna have the same problems you gotta wait for your bike to show up and everything and you know other people are ordering it so they're gonna run out of inventory and everything so so I would say it's not a bad idea buying it now in the winter and they had all these Black Friday deals and stuff. Yeah, you kind of missed out on that if you haven't already ordered it. But, um, you know, if, if you didn't order it and you want to order one now, yeah, it would be a good time to get it. And so if it comes in early and it sits in the, you know, in the garage, oh well, so be it. But at least you're not waiting and missing out all of spring. And, uh, and the like, you could be out riding, right? So who, who would have thought that something like bicycles would be so in demand? But you know, you're talking a whole new category of bikes now, e-bikes. Get you out riding, doing things that you never thought you would have been able to do. I mean, I had not been on a bike all these years. I think the last time I was on a bike, my daughter was probably maybe around 10 years old maybe. <laughs> So probably 20, 20 years at least. 
Yeah. So it's uh it's gotten me back out on the bike. I stopped only because uh, my knees were having so many problems. But I think um, if my knees were still okay, I probably would still be on the bikes. Am I a bike enthusiast? Nah, I wouldn't say so, but I like being out on the bike and getting out and doing things. It's a whole different feel than being in the car, you know? Being in a car and riding around, it doesn't feel the same. Being out on the bike in the open road and riding around the neighborhoods and stuff like that, that's, that's a whole different thing. So yeah, if you've been hesitating, <laughs> you might want to consider it. Now, let's play the other side. Is it worth waiting? It might be worth waiting. Oh, here's the nice thing. We're at 2,600 miles. I just looked down and looked at it. And let's take a look at this here. Let's see if you guys can see it here. Let me angle the camera down a little bit. You guys see that? 2,600 miles. So we're gonna break the 2600 mile range right now. Go over to 2600 miles. <laughs> yeah, something in me wanted to hit 2600. 2500 was a milestone, but you just kind of wanted to say, okay, we finished up the year with at least 100 miles past it. <laughs> but okay, going back to what I was saying, should you wait? Okay, if you wait, there is that that uh, money from the government that's on the table, if they pass that, these bikes can uh, save you up to 30% of the purchase price if they pass it the way you know they had anticipated. But uh, you gotta play the game of, do you wanna wait and see if that ever even really happens? In which case you might miss out all of the spring <laughs> because you waited too long to order your bike or should you order it now and don't worry about it now you're talking several hundred dollars is that worth it to you <laughs> or pay it higher and, and enjoy the ride right I don't know. It's too late for me. I mean, I've I've already uh, I've already got my bike, so I don't get any rebate money. But I had the full enjoyment this whole last year. You know, I was out the entire uh, summer, spring and summer and fall. So yeah, I'm glad I have it. If I miss out a little bit on the rebate money, that's okay. <laughs> this bike has definitely helped my knees. I know that for a fact. The, the additional uh, constant keeping it moving and stuff, it's really helped out my knee. So that was worth it to me right there. All right, so I'm looking at my display screen here and it shows I'm down to four bars. So chances are I'm coming close, if not at the 75% uh, mark already. I don't use that to make the determination. On, on the battery itself, I have a, a, a gauge. It's the same thing, it's got five bars. I use that, that's what I, I use to, to gauge whether I hit the correct percentage or not. But, uh, yeah, I think we're, we're at that point. I'm not going to charge any of this, so I'm going to call it a day. I appreciate you guys coming out for this final ride. <laughs> I keep saying it's a final ride. It might not be. If, if the, the temperatures are right, I might be going out again. <laughs> never say never. you got to keep watching Russ's Ride to be able to find out if I'm out out there again. So, 
anyways but i appreciate you guys uh following along if you like this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll talk to you guys next time